This is Steven Chin for nighthacking.com, and I'm doing interviews with Java 1 speakers all this week and next. Today, I'm interviewing Tony Eppel. He is going to be speaking at Java 1 about JavaFX and other technologies. Uh, Tony, how are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. This is... You're, you're my fourth interview today, so um, this is... <laughs> Even more yeah. aggressive on a, of an interview schedule than I did last time I was driving through Europe and I met you. <laughs> I, I try to set yeah, standards be. for overdoing things very high. <laughs> you, you must be very excited now that Java 1 is, is not far away. Um, busy, yes. Maybe excited once it gets a little bit closer and I realize that stuff is going to all fall in place. <laughs> <laughs> So how how are you doing it for Java One? Have you um, are you pretty much prepared for your sessions, or you're still scrambling to oh, get stuff done? I'm, I'm still still in the middle of the process of preparing everything <laughs> because it's so much. <laughs> it's there are so many sessions and and yeah, uh, and you do so you do like cool stuff like you know real application yeah. development and graphics and um, you're, the standard for what you do is is very high from what I've seen. <laughs> we're going to do. I, I, I hope we 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 are going to have a lot of fun because that is my main idea: going to Joe One and having fun. Yep. And um, I hope that includes my own presentation. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice. So, what what sort of stuff are you going to be talking about at Java One? What's your um, main topics? Um, I'm going to be talking about JavaFX naturally. And I'm also going to talk about uh, NetBeans and NetBeans platform. Cool. And most of that in combination with JavaFX. And uh, the third topic I'll, I'll be talking about is Back to Browser, which is a cool project. Oh. So you've been in collusion uh, with Yarda. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're going to have two talks about uh, this topic. and. Um, they are all, all all of these talks are are a little bit interconnected. So, I'm going to do, for example, for 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 his back to browser project, which is a project uh, uh, that creates a virtual machine written in JavaScript mm -hmm. um, that runs in any browser. So you can have Java on your machine without having to install it. So you can have Java like for for example on the iPad or um, on Android devices. Um, and and for this project. I created an API um, that allows you to um, it's that allows you to draw to a canvas to a HTML5 canvas uh, using Java, and um, I made an abstraction on top of the uh, on on top of that basically, um, so you can uh, plug in other technologies behind uh, behind an API, and one of these technologies is JavaFX. And since I have a game library that I'll be talking about as well at Java 1, I'll also use um, this game library to uh, write games in Java that run in the browser and on the iPad, on Android. And uh, wow, so you're, so um, you're, doing, you're bringing to, to life the cross-platform JavaFX vision that um, Sun was never able to fully pull off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's mainly Yarda that is uh, make, uh, who is making that possible. But um, uh, I'm I'm one of the early adopters who's who's creating visually attractive applications. At least I hope so. Very nice, very <laughs> nice. I'm looking so. I'm looking forward to it. Is there anything you can give us a sneak preview of? Um, sure, sure. So um, there are here. I'm going to switch of switch to your desktop so folks can can see what you're okay. hacking on. We can see that you're watching the live stream. That's that's good. And now NetBeans. Yeah, this is NetBeans and um, it's this is a project that is available on GitHub and it's um, it's a modular um, game library, FX Games. And uh, there's a game engine which is the most basic module and the game engine gives you uh, a canvas, graphics context that you can use. It's it's this abstraction that I was talking about. I, to, just today I did some major refactorings that it's not only using uh, JavaFX, but you can also use uh, this abstraction layer mm -hmm. instead. And um, I've got a physics engine, which is JBox2D, 
that you can plug in. So you can create physics games like Angry Nerds and stuff like that. Nice. Um, I've got a time engine, so you can uh, you can use, for example, this uh, this kind of tile editors that should show up now on the on the screen. So you can create tile maps and stuff like that. Oh yeah, the app is showing up there now. Okay. And um, you can uh, create games with that. Wow. And I create a couple of sample games with that. And like one of the simplest ones that was the first one that uh, is like, I think it's now a little bit more than, uh, well, it's 100 lines of code or so. Um, oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. And you can have very simple games in, in, in just a couple of lines of code. And you can see the physics engine is rather overkill uh, as soon as it comes up on your screen. Yeah, yeah, no. So you're using the <laughs> physics engine for Pong. <laughs> I'm using the physics engine for Pong. And this is just a, a debug. And, uh, but I also created other games. Like this is uh, my, my demo for the physics engine, just a simple one. And uh, this is a demo for the, for the plain game engine. Mm -hmm. It's not using anything that... Uh, this is Space Invaders. Uh, very nice. So we can hear the sound effects. Oh, there it goes. And the graphics now for Space Invaders. Okay. Nice. Uh, so this is this is basically so how many how many lines of code is space invaders with your your gaming framework oh i don't know it's like it's just below 200 nice and um i also created a a game that is already using this um this tile engine and that is uh, tower defense and there's also in the in this project, so you can. Uh, the graphics are not very nice, uh, <laughs> but, but uh, if you switch, if 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 you change them, you can see that's yeah, really it's, not. It's not too bad uh, though. So you can see. Um, so I did a, a couple of tutorials. And, and blog entries about how I created this oh, game. Oh yeah, yeah, no, 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 that's why it looks familiar. I remember reading part of your tutorials along the way. Um, I, I mentioned it on the Spotlight podcast as well. Ah, nice. Yeah, and uh, uh, you're you're having way too much fun for a, for a um, for a full time job. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely yeah. I I I would would have loved to uh, to to uh, work on this a little bit more because this is the one I I want to show at Java One I guess uh, at at the tutorial session mm -hmm. uh, how to create this kind of games. And another one um, is like this sample game here, which is um, which is also using Tile Engine, and it's this kind of RPG game, tile-based RPG game. And uh, there's a graphic glitch coming from the refactoring from today. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, still, you can see. Um, nice. You can, it's like you a can, classic in, in RPG. Just, yeah, just in a couple of lines of code, you can create games like this, and they are quite performant. So um, we we had this game here running on a Raspberry Pi, and it's it's really um, there are no performance problems at all. Cool. So it's running at the same speed. Uh, it's, it's it's running here. So it's it's really the library is really. Quite quite nice, and it's a lot of fun uh, creating all these games. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm I'm trying to create these games to um, to really uh, work on the API. So I, I want to eat my own dog food, so I can really find out what I can uh, what I can improve. And um, so far, it's uh, I find my API really nice. <laughs> 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 almost everything. It's very simple. For for almost everything, there's only one single way to do it, and the, that makes the it right way. Easy. Of course, the right way. And exactly. if it doesn't work, then you make the API correct, and you fix all five sample apps which use it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a question from um, Jim Weaver, who's on the stream. 
And okay. he was wondering, as a person who a developer owns a software developer in a training company, do you feel torn yeah. between software development that you'd like to do and business activity to, you know, keep the doors open? Um, how do you choose like what type of projects and and what would they be? Um, well, I I I usually tend to um, to create fun applications uh, that um, that that help me with my projects. Um, so, for example, if 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 I create new controls, I, I recently I created a a touch control. Uh, which is, is like this touch wheel mm -hmm. control, and that's that's a control that I, um, I I will be using in a couple of projects that I'm uh, I'm, I'm I'm working with so, now. So you actually that and, that you'll make money on that one. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I I I'm pretty sure. I will. <laughs> and um, the nice thing about the projects in uh, that that. Uh, you do in JavaFX is that most of them are very visual and most of them are related uh, most of my consultancy jobs are related to the uh, creating uh, the right architecture creating the tooling creating the tool chain mm -hmm. and um, like getting getting the visuals right getting uh, everything pixel perfect and that is something that is fun because that is uh, nice um, I do the business stuff to the uh, to the guys um, who uh, who do the domain logic, who know the domain logic, and and I just help focus them with on the, the, the user interface the and the architecture. So if you yeah, could, yeah. if you could choose, this is Jim's follow-on question: Would yeah. you be? What would you really like to be working on? Would it be games or something different? If you could work on well, anything. Well, games is definitely something that I uh, that I love to do. Uh, I'm I'm not actually I'm. I do, I do not play games that much. <laughs> uh, I, I rather program them. Yeah, well, I, you, I, you I used to play games, apparently. Game. You, have a good, yeah, you have a good sense for, like, classic video gaming, which retro video games yes. coming back, like, um, you know, playing, like, old versions of Castlevania or, like, you exactly. know, 16-bit games. Yeah, eight bit games. Eight bit, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm so old. So <laughs> Um, yeah, that's that's fun. That's uh, that's just and and it's you can learn a lot um, when when you're creating APIs for 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 games and and I learned a lot about API design um, when I created this uh, API, um, especially since uh, I had Yarda to um, to oh, yeah. do some API reviews. Yeah, for no, me. no, Yarda, Yarda is in the God rocket science. API category he well he literally he wrote the book on api design <laughs> exactly. literally he actually authored a book on that specific topic specifically and he's had so yeah. much experience from um architecting and re-architecting and working through the netbeans apis and keeping them backwards compatible and redesigning them over and over again that he he's just such an expert on that topic and many other things it's it's great to chat with him so we're yeah, we're chatting about for those who don't know we're chatting about Yaroslav Tu Tulak. How do you say his last name? Uh, I I don't know tu Tulak. I, I would I would say, but but I I don't know. He's Czech, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know better than you do. And I, I, I'm going to have two presentations together with him yeah. about his back to browser project. And um, yeah, it's always a pleasure. Yeah, and he, he never know. Yarda might be making a surprise appearance at um some other prominent part of the conference. Ah, I can explain. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> cool. All right. So thanks, thanks very much for the the short okay. interview, Tony. And um, I look forward to seeing you in San Francisco. And hopefully, we'll drop back in your neck of the woods for my next night hacking tour and um, coming up in October, November. You're always welcome. <laughs> <laughs> so have a good time and and. Uh, I hope uh, you'll have a good time at, during Chao One as well, be, because it's probably going to be very yeah, hard. Yeah, I'll have a good time when it's over, I think. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's when I can relax. <laughs> I can imagine. I'll try to, I'll, I'll try to leave you alone. <laughs> Just say hi. No, 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 you're good. You're good. You can bother <laughs> me anytime. All right. Thanks very much, Tony.